Hello everyone and welcome to uh, today's workshop. Um, this is just a quick heads up that this meeting will be recorded. I hope everyone's okay with that. Uh, you can show me a thumbs up or react in the uh, chat box um, about the recording. And before we begin a little bit about Slam Out Loud, uh, we are a non-for-profit uh, organization and we're on a mission to transform uh, social emotional learning and arts for education for uh, arts education for underserved communities in India. And um, you can find more information about us on our uh, social media. Uh, our facilitator for today is uh, Lisa Ludwig from the Art Neighborhood. And um, she's gonna be hosting today's workshop as part of the I Have a Voice Festival uh, for which, for and for this year's edition, we've partnered with uh, Give a Hand Foundation and the Cartier Initiative. Um, we also have uh, other workshops lined up for September and October. So we encourage you to sign up for those as well and participate as much as you can. Um, I'll introduce Lisa now. Uh, Lisa is an artist who lives in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, she started something called the Art Neighborhood and her goal is to bring people together and help them understand each other better. She teaches workshops where people make little figures of themselves using cardboard and markers. Uh, these figures then become a part of a bigger art project called the Art Neighborhood. Uh, it's grown a lot since 2009, with thousands of people visiting and uh, visiting, and over 500 people joining to make their figures. Uh, this project shows how art can make the world better. Uh, Lisa believes that there that every color is special, and so she doesn't have a favorite color, and she loves to dance and be silly. Uh, Lisa, thank you for being us being here with us today, and you can take over now. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Hello. How are you? Fine, and you? How are you all? Fine. Um, I'm an artist, and I want to share with you how I make artwork. Um, would you like to make artwork with me? Good. Um, I want to make awesome artwork with you. And we are going to make action figures of ourselves. And our action figures will live in the art neighborhood, where we can all be friends. Um, I'll be using two cameras today to talk with you, to show you what I'm doing so you can get ideas and learn how to make a figure. Now I'm going to introduce myself. I am Lisa. And now I want to introduce to you my hands. And these are my hands. Hi. Today, we're gonna to share our stories and dreams. Dreams have two meanings. One is what happens when you're sleeping and the other are your hopes for the future. Creating our action figures today, let us think about our hopes for the future. Um, who do you want to become in your future? Or who? how do you wanna see your future? When I was younger, I wanted to help others and I wanted to make art. And I learned that I could help people and make art by being an artist. Um, I also wanted to be an uh, anthropologist, which is someone that digs up dinosaur bones. And I also wanted to um, work with sea animals and creatures. So um, that's something to think about today, possibly how you see your future and your action figure can encompass those ideas. So maybe you've thought about being a teacher or a firefighter or a nurse, or maybe you wanna be an artist too, or a writer or a poet. Um, so today when we make our action figures, we're gonna to try to think about how that can be incorporated into these figures. Now today, I'm gonna to show you my hands again. We're gonna start off with some materials. I hope you have some materials today with you. So today I'm starting off with some cardboard and glue, oops, tape and scissors. And then I have all of these found objects I brought today. Did everybody have a chance to gather materials and bring together that today? Okay, good. Um, 
I don't know what you brought, but I brought some seashells because I love the sea. I found some dried black eyed peas. I found pencil, a spoon, lots of rope and other little things too. What kind of things did you gather today? Do you wanna pick anything up and show me if you brought something special? Ah, oh, yay, that's nice. Well, I look forward to seeing what you do with it. Before we get started, I wanna thank Cartwheel Initiative, Slam Out Loud, and Give a Hand Organization for this opportunity. I hope this workshop gives us a voice to share our stories and our passions. So here we go. So if you can get all your materials together or you can watch and you can create this later. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a really simple base. Earlier today, this morning, I had the opportunity to start and I created this character of myself. And I'm gonna show you how I did it in a moment. Um, but this represents me today and how I'm feeling. So I took a piece of cardboard and I guess it's about um, what I would say, um, I like to measure things with my body. So sometimes I measure things from my fingertips to the center of my, the center of my elbow. So I'm gonna do that. And this is about how long that is and I'm gonna, Fold it in half. And this is what I'm gonna start with today to make my figure. I'm gonna glue and put things on it. So it's so simple and easy. Anybody can do this. If you can just find a piece of cardboard or a piece of um, plastic or anything that might be hanging out around your house or um, down the street, you can often go to your grocery store and they'll have cardboard boxes you can have. So I have just created basically what I call a stand. So I can kind of stand it up and then I'll have a figure. So I hope that's easy enough for everybody to get started. All right, so now, as you see, you can uh, use your cardboard in any way um, it doesn't have to be this shape. You can cut out a body shape or you can um, decide on any type of shape. It can be a circle or a triangle or a square. But for me, this is the easiest way. You know, I have this really fun fact and I've probably told everyone that knows me this already. But one of my favorite things about the human body is that as tall as you are, if you put your arms out, fingertip to fingertip, that's how tall you are. It actually equals the same amount. Oh. So what I like to do is when I make an action figure and I have a size, I know that my arms are gonna be this length. Does that make sense? Well, let me show you. So if I'm gonna use this material to start off my base, for my arms, I have some old cardboard here. I'm gonna see if it's the same height. I'm gonna make it the same height. Just gonna tear it. So now that I know it's the same height as my body, I know that it'll be the right size for my arms. So I just wanted to share that. That's The body is such a great way to measure things and I really enjoy it. So now that I have this piece together, I'm gonna let you guys catch up and get your materials together. And soon, this will all start coming together. Does anybody have any questions? Okay, good. So 
today I was thinking about how much I love sea animals and I had found this plastic and I think about plastic in the oceans and I think about all the stuff that we throw away all the time and I like the idea that I can take something like this and turn it into something that represents my passions and things I love without having to throw it away I can reuse it the color blue reminds me of water so I thought what better way to make my arms than to make it out of this plastic so I'm going to gently cut wavy little lines out of the plastic. Now you can be using whatever materials you found today. And I can't wait to hear your stories and to know what you're thinking about today. Um, but this is like a really great way to feel good about reusing your stuff and putting it into art and it was free um it didn't cost me anything which I like so maybe you have a friend that has some stuff or your mom and dad or a teacher that will let you use some things that you might find in the classroom or around your house with the art neighborhood, the action figure that you make of yourself is about the actions that you wanna to take to make the world a better place. That's one way to look at it and to think about it. So making this, I'm thinking about how I could possibly help the ocean, help the animals that live in the ocean. So I just kind of am stuffing that in to where my arms are, just to kind of get started on making arms. And I'm going to use all of this cardboard to make a body. I decided to use this green cardboard because it reminds me of nature and the trees. So while you're working on your action figure, you can think about what actions that you can do in your everyday life to help others. One of the actions I like to do when I go to the beach is pick up trash or found objects. That makes me very happy. And I know that it's helping make everything more beautiful and a healthier environment for the animals. So this is just a lot of cardboard on top of each other to create texture that I like. And I am going to continue to use these objects to decorate the space. I think of this rope as being a lot of different things. It could be used for hair or for tying of tying things together. Or I think today I'm going to use it for the skirt. And I like to use tape and glue to easily um, create structure. 
So I can then later go back and paint over it or decorate it. And I like masking tape because you can paint on it or draw on it as well. It's very easy to do. I found a shoestring and it doesn't have a partner. So I think this is a good place to use it. Usually shoestrings come in packets of two, but this one was by itself. How is everybody doing so far? Oh, look, I can see that action figure. That looks amazing. Oh, wow, Rebecca. Hey, that looks so good. What's really fun is after you make these action figures, they'll all come to live in the art neighborhood where we'll all be friends and it will go on and you'll always have a piece of art in the artwork. Can't wait to see everybody's work. I can definitely say that a little bit of glue goes a long way and not to worry too much about the outcome. Sometimes it's just fun while you're making the art, just to relax and enjoy the materials. The materials say a lot and let them talk to you and speak to you. And um, I mean, it's kind of funny how um, the materials, you gotta just kind of let them do what they wanna do. Don't really force it, but enjoy what you're doing. And, and just, it's a nice time just to relax and appreciate all the things that you take for granted every day that you might see and you don't think about. It doesn't have to be perfect because nobody's perfect. So just have fun. One of my favorite things I like about using found objects, things that you come across that you're like, what can I do with this? Is that you kind of just allow them to do their own thing. Like this is bendable and I could do some stuff. This is pretty rigid here. So it's kind of hard to bend, but it would take a lot of effort to glue this. It wouldn't want to stay glued together. So if you wanted to bend it, you might have to use something like a rubber band to keep it together. So it's interesting when you find materials and you start playing with them, you can think about different ways to make what the shape that you want out of it using different tools. So glue doesn't really work here, but a rubber band does. And here I'm going to use tape. So here are my arms so far. It's like water coming out of my arms so I can give people something to drink. I can water the ground so fruits and vegetables can grow and trees can grow so little animals can live inside the trees and make their home. So that's my action today. What kind of actions are you making today? And I found all of these shells on the beach that I love. They're tiny. I guess a little critter lived in it one time, but maybe it grew up bigger and had to move out. So I think I'll definitely do something with these shells.
Does anybody live near the beach or near a lake? Yeah. Do you find seashells when you go for walks? <laughs> I like that it's really shiny too, and it's transparent. And I think I'll use it like sparks coming out of my head with ideas. And I found some little sparkly stones that I can use too. So the sparkle is translated, sparkly, sparkles and sparks. Maybe I'll make them into like triangular, short, sharp things. So again, I'm using tape because it's so quick and easy. Um, tape is my friend <laughs> um, to Gonna put this together. If you don't have tape, you know, um, definitely glue would work. If you don't have glue, um, you could probably use rubber bands too. And use a little glue here. I found a key. This key is pretty cool. It reminds me of a key to like a chest or maybe a diary even. Um, I like to think of a treasure chest maybe. Um, and the key represents to me opening up something or um, yeah, or uh, opening up and sharing secrets or sharing ideas with others. And the shell represents where I was born at the beach. I left my childhood home to move to New York, but I grew up in Wilmington, North Carolina. And this symbolizes my family and friends in North Carolina. And I'll carry all my memories with the shell. So I'm going to make a face. Um, I kind of have almost like a little face on my action figure. But I might just take some newspaper or a scrap of paper. And I might just draw my face on it. Um, faces. How did you add your arms? Um, did, you, did you fold your cardboard? So there should be like a little space. In between, do you have that little gap space? For now, I just stuck it in. Um, I'll probably add glue, but I just kind of wedged it in, or you can wedge it all the way through, um, like with this cardboard, let's say here. Um, I'm able to use it to stick things through like that. So that way, um, it's so uh, simple, but if that if that doesn't work for you, there's other ways. Obviously, you can um, tie or tape your arms to your action figure. But with this little um, stand out of the cardboard, it just makes it easy to be able to um, put things through it. And then 
have it so you have arms. And what I like about cardboard too is that you can use like a paper clip and you can poke into the cardboard and then you can add things like to the paper clip so you can start to hang things and um this requires no glue or tape or anything just as long as this is connected at the bottom and i was using tape masking tape to connect it you can also use a rubber band but i just use tape and cardboard magic so real quickly i was gonna draw my face um i'm going to go make some eyebrows and eyes little nose mouth And I'm going to put it there. I'm going to make some glasses because I'm wearing glasses these days. And then I'll be almost finished with my action figure. This is like wire that you get trash bags or things like that. And I'm just going to make a pair of glasses for me. Okay. So they kind of like that. There they are. <laughs> Hi. Um, so I wanted to share that with you. And, um, you know, uh, whenever you um, submit your action figure, you tell its story. So that's what I was thinking about doing next with you guys. Um, there is a chat. Okay, I see. It says, feel free to unmute and interact, everyone. So definitely feel free to do that. If you have any more questions before we move on, um, I can't wait to write about it and tell everybody the story of my action figure. Where is everybody so far? You want to show me? Oh, look at that. She's going oh. to share a story. Yes, please. Um, it, it's an animal yeah. in the ocean that has a, um, that can heal on the other animals. Oh. Yay. Oh, I love the, I love the blue. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yay! Oh, you have a shell. Look, I, that's so much fun. Yay! <laughs> Does anybody else want to share what they're what they're working on right now? I I could share what I got so far. I I was feeling like a bird. I want to change it into like some wings. I haven't gotten that far yet, but I. Decided to add glasses because last year I had some orange glasses and I had a red wire. And um, when I was little, I accidentally uh, dyed my hair green. So I was reliving that green hair moment there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I love that. And, and that I green... wanted to be a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yay. I'm, I'm actually at work and I, I was like getting a moment of freedom. I asked my boss to come and he said, he thought he knew you, but um, he, he worked in New York at a school and he thought maybe he knew you. Oh, that's great. Well, I'm glad that you're able to join Rebecca. And um, that's going to be such a great addition to the art neighborhood. I'm so happy that everybody has created such amazing and fun action figures. Today, whenever you take the time, um, we're going to make sure that you photograph your action figure so so you can send me a photo of it i just translate uh what you were saying for uh, uh for everyone so lisa keh rahi hai ki aap apne jab action figures banayenge to uski tasveer khinch ke aap hame bhej sakte hai to hum unke sath share kar dete 
Okay, so I'm going to photograph it from the front and from the back. I will send the photograph to the form that we have, the application form available, maybe to put in the chat. If not, um, maybe we can email everybody again the form. But you take a photo of your action figure and then in the form, you will write about it. What I would write is the name of my action figure is, I want to say, Water Lily is my action figure's name. And my hands are water to make sure that everyone and all animals have something to drink and the land can bear food and vegetables and fruit so no one goes hungry and the trees for the birds and animals um, to make a house and to live in. The shell is a place that I hold dear to my heart and I keep my memories there and I'm always full of ideas and imagination. And that's what I would share. Lily, water lily can then be a part of the art neighborhood and live in the art neighborhood with your action figures too. Yay, so this is me. You know, I know some of you might still be working on it. Um, so your name, your age, the city that you live in, and any action figure details. And then once you upload your images, here in New York, I'll take all the action figures and replicate them and put them in the art neighborhood where they'll live as friends for all time. And then later next month, we're gonna have an exhibition here in New York with all the action figures that were created during the I Have a Voice Festival. I'm just so thankful that everyone was here with me and um, I have the opportunity to work with you. I feel like if we can just take a little bit of time every day to think about our actions and the good things that we can do for others, it really just sets up a great day. And as you go along your day, you actually help others and you're more considerate. And I think that's just a good way to be. Thank you so much for this workshop. Uh, the whole concept of the art neighborhood is really creative and I had fun watching all of you make your action figures. I hope I can make mine uh, at home. Yes, so, please. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So I guess I'll see you all in the art neighborhood. Bye, everybody. Thank you so thank much. You. Everyone. Thank you so much for joining.